president has become more dangerous to the U.S. than Fidel Castro ever was. He's more dangerous than bin Laden, and the effects of Chavez's war against America could eclipse those of 9-11. Chavez is supporting terrorism on a daily basis. He's given al-Qaeda and Hamas an open invitation to come to Caracas. Who is Hugo Chavez? Where did he come from? He was literally born in a mud hut and grew up in poverty. And this uh, affected his view of Venezuela, as well as ultimately his lifelong mission to transform the country. I think that we have to view at this point the government of Venezuela as a negative force in the region. So the text of the Lucha contra the Narcotrafico, which is simply a political de control, no solamente a Bolivia, sino a muchos países de Latinoamérica. Não tenho nenhum interesse de brigar com os Estados Unidos. A única coisa que eu quero é ser tratado em igualdade de condições. Então eu digo que não há que ser, nem há que arrodillar-se ante o poder, nem se necessita ser eh, mal educado para defender as coisas que têm aqueles que han resultado e han eh, jogado a nossa nação. Já não tem, foi 61 anos de um partido hegemônico no ha sido fácil el cambio aquí en el país. Aquí hay un grupo que se ha privilegiado históricamente del gobierno, de los, de los recursos del Estado. Rafael Correa is now being cast as one of the potentially bad left. Todo respeto conociendo a la prensa norteamericana. Estaría más preocupado cuando hable bien de eso. I want to play soccer with the president. Can you show me a little, a little soccer ball action? He's as much of a threat to the system as Castro was. He's a great example. If he succeeds, it'll be the first time in Latin American history, except for Castro, where he's led an entire region away from the United States economic control. Quizás esa es una de las razones de, de la actividad que uno lleva, el optimismo, la fe, la esperanza eh, y las evidencias concretas de que si sí es posible cambiar el mundo, cambiar la historia, es posible, Oliver.